go ahead and fight the wither. Wither to get myself a wither, uh, not a wither, a wither star, another star, so I'd be able to get myself a beacon. Now that uh, the reason I want a beacon is to make my life a whole lot easier using haste, and that's why I got myself a villager and made myself a carrot and potato farm, so I'd be able to get many emeralds because I'm not the type of guy who makes iron farms and gets tons of iron and easily fills up the base of the beacon so I'm just gonna be using emeralds and and uh, slowly but surely build up my emerald supply anyways without further talking let me go into the mines and I'm not gonna do the old go to the end and kill the weather that way technique no 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 I'm going to go all the way down here and well not all well yeah pretty much all the way down here and pick myself a, I pick a spot for myself so I think I'm gonna choose this tunnel right here this tiny tunnel dig through it a bit and I uh, forgot to bring some torches for myself which is really the biggest issue uh, because this guy is gonna literally blow everything up and well it's gonna technically be its own light source so yeah that's gonna happen anyways I'm just gonna dig through this place and oh seems like I found made myself into somebody else's tunnels but I'm just gonna go far far away from my main tunnel because this guy could literally do whatever and I've got a technique to find uh, to fighting this guy and my technique is just basically using my axe because it has smite 5 anyways now making a small little room right here and I'm gonna be summoning the weather and fighting him simple as so take my soul sand take my wither skeleton heads and well three oh wait no three two now this is gonna be scary one and quickly take a screenshot of this guy because why not and I've got the, the advancement withering heights now I'm gonna pull off a golden apple put on all these guys and now I have them so I'm gonna take out my axe and of course do not forget about my shield so I wouldn't get the wither effect but I've already done good damage to him this might fight really helps quite a lot and hopefully this guy doesn't kill me so all I have to do is just basically simply bane him with my Bane him with my, slice him with my axe, chop him with my axe, and he's going higher and higher. We're actually inside a ravine, which isn't really the best thing to happen to me. I think I'm gonna die doing this. Where is the wither god? Okay, here he is. Oh my god, where the hell is he going? Oh no, this is this is quite a bad idea. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good damage to him right now. Oh, he keeps knocking me back though. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. What? This is quite dangerous. I did not expect that to be honest. Um, he's nearly dead, but he has my stuff. Okay, most of my stuff is inside here. Being really quiet for no reason at all. Did he explode my stuff? Did he really explode my stuff? There is no darn way he exploded my stuff. No way. Most of my stuff is literally gone. They're not there. No way. He actually just exploded my stuff, did he? Withers don't explode items, do they? I know th he can kill entities, but that's pretty obvious. He's the wither. He kills whatever is on his path. But there is no way he exploded my stuff. This is actually kind of boring because I've already lost my stuff about a billion times already okay, we've got my oh my god my axe is gone my axe is literally gone i don't have an arrow to shoot him off with my bow oh god no he actually destroyed my items no way um cal He destroyed my items. He destroyed all my... Um... He 
actually destroyed all my life. So, um, yeah, that just happened, an epic fail. Which, I'm not really proud of, but I guess, um, plans never go to plan, really. Not, well, most of the time, they never work out as planned, but, yeah, I lost all my stuff, and, uh, which was going to be a sad ending to the video, but I didn't let it be a sad ending the, to the video. That that note will not be the end of the video. So, as the narrator said, three days later, three days, three days after I recorded the wither fail, I have been working during that time and getting my gear back up. And, um, I didn't really do the best job, all I did is restore all my weaponry, of course, because that's the most thing I really need, so I've restored all my weaponry, mostly, so I've got my sword, not really fully enchanted, still got a few enchantments left, I've got my super perfect bow right here, it's got flame, infinity, and breaking, and all that good stuff, I've got my silkinator and my fortunator, which I forgot to rename my fortunator, I planned on renaming it whilst uh, uh, adding mending on it, which I yet to have, uh, I've got my axe and my shovel, of course my shovel is Lissandiga, because, um, well, I, I was using it as an extra shovel for digging up sand, and, uh, well, since I lost myself, I guess there really is no better option than using this one and, and not crafting another one. And while I was uh, re regaining my tools, I actually used up all my diamonds and also as you can see right here i have been getting lots of emeralds from this guy as well during those three days of between recording the clips and uh, yeah i've gotten six, uh, 46 emeralds and the reason i want so many emeralds is because it's going to be the base of the bacon and talking about the beacon, after I died, I called upon Cal and Vapor on Discord after I mentioned that, uh, yeah, Withers and the Loose under my base. Both of those guys came and helped me out, and I have the Nether Star. I'm going to show you where it is in a second. It's actually not in a really, like, special place. It's actually all in this shulker box right here, and if I put down the shulker box and open it, as you can see, I have been busy in between episodes. I have eight blocks of diamonds to my name. I have one single emerald. I would have two emeralds, but I gave one to Cal because, well, he helped me. Uh, I would have also given one, no, actually I given one to Cal because he gave me his fortune pick before I made this one so I could mine down this whole tower. Well, the tower of the, the tower Tower of ores I got like the diamonds and redstone and all that stuff. I silk touched, uh, silk touched it first, then came to, uh, came to the surface and made a gigantic pillar. I would have taken a screenshot, but I totally forgot. But I made a gigantic pillar, and Cal lent, uh, lent me his fortune pickaxe to mine that down. And after mining it down, I gave Cal an emerald. So yeah, an emerald has been gone from. A uh, for Cal's troubles, and here is my nether star, as I said, Vapor is the one to kill the beacon after I called upon him, and uh, well, there we go, we've got a beacon, he gave me the nether star in return for nothing, so thank you so much Vapor, greatly appreciate it, and as I said, I have been quite busy, I've got 8 blocks of diamonds, 7 blocks of gold, nearly, well, Three stacks and a half of uh, thingies. Three stacks and a half of redstone. Well, I don't want to place that down. Thank you. I'm going to put that right here in a safe place. And uh, yeah, just put that right there. Uh, I've got 43 lapis blocks, which is awesome because I totally ran out of lapis. So I'm going to put that right there for whenever I need to enchant something. I've got uh, 28 iron blocks, and now that puts me up to over a stack of iron blocks which is quite amazing and impressive without an iron farm and I've got two stacks of coal blocks and a bit of red so I'm going to be putting that into my redstone shulker box if I have the space for it and put all the coal right here and uh, fortunately unfortunately that's all the time I have for today's video just a quick progress update 
on what I've been doing and uh, an epic fail of fighting the wither but I am back to normal now I have went mining all that I need to do is craft up my armor I got this armor which I had left over from my end city raiding and uh, I used to rock in some iron armor but I decided to just leave it right here for some other purpose later on I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with that but I'm just going to leave it for now anyways if you have enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing because that's really appreciated also don't forget to follow my Instagram right here on the screen and for now I'll see you guys in the next video